David Livingstone originally wanted to go to China as a missionary, but the Opium Wars broke out shortly before he was going to go. The London Missionary Society suggested that Livingston visited the West Indies instead, an area full of colonies that had very recently emancipated all inhabiting slaves. But Livingston decided to go to Africa instead. He went to Africa as a medical missionary, which he soon realised wasn't a good idea either, and decided his spiritual calling was to be an explorer. <laughs> Livingston's early years in Africa were eventful. During his first visit to Mabotsa in Botswana in 1843, an area where there were many lions terrorising the villagers, Livingston felt that if he could just kill one lion, the others would take it as a warning and leave the villages and their livestock alone. Proceeding to march forth on a lion hunt, Livingston caught the eye of a large lion and immediately fired his gun. Unfortunately for the Scotsman, the animal was not sufficiently injured to prevent it from attacking him whilst he was reloading, seriously wounding his left arm. The resulting broken arm never fully recovered, and he could never raise the limb above shoulder height again. During his explorations, David Livingston survived malaria, dysentery, sleeping sickness and several other diseases even concocting a malaria cure along the way. Livingston suggested the association between mosquitoes and malaria some 30 years before Ronald Ross established the link. He also observed the connection between relapsing fever and tick bites, as well as a link between environment and diseases such as pneumonia, typhoid and dysentery. Livingston is seen as one of history's greatest explorers, being the first European to find and name the Victoria Falls. He did, however, have failures. The Zambezi expedition sought him trying to find a navigable river that cut across southern Africa. It did not go to plan, and his final expedition to find the source of the River Nile saw him conclude, wrongly, it was the Lualaba River. Henry Morton Stanley may not have said his most famous line when finding Livingston. Livingston went missing for six years, and Stanley was sent to find him. He found Livingston at Ujiji on the shores of Lake Tanganyika on the 10th of November 1871, but there is no definitive proof the famous greeting was ever uttered. It seems it may have been a fabricated phrase by the newspapers. He died in Chief Jutambo's village, which is now Zambia, on the 1st of May 1873, aged 60 years old, from malaria and internal bleeding due to dysentery. His heart was buried in Africa, under a Mavula tree, which is now the site of Livingston Memorial, but the rest of his remains are buried at Westminster Abbey in London. Thank you everybody for watching the Six Facts video. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it with the hashtag TeamStructor, and also hit that subscribe button so you know when a new video comes out.